Hey queens, and welcome back. Today we're reviewing the Milani Cream to Powder Finish. It's a tongue twister, that one. I keep saying it differently. Anyways, this powder, I got it a few months ago. I have used it a few times. As you can see, it's a ready really pan, which I'm quite shocked about. Like, I don't use that much, but... It doesn't say how many grams it is, but I'll put it up here. So I don't think this is 100% my shade because I did order this online, but I do think it's as close as we're going to get and I usually kind of make it work with my concealer, etc. So I'm going to give you my reviews as I put it on and then I'm thinking of leaving it on for the whole day, coming back and then showing you how it looks. So let's get to the video. Okay, so I don't usually use primer, so let's just get to it. I'm using this Real Techniques... Um, brush it's a sculpting brush but i really like it for pressing in my powder and my foundation english clearly is my second language anyway so i'm just getting it i like to start in, in this area first i feel like i have the most texture there and i'm just using stamping motion i don't know what's wrong with me I feel like you have to kind of go a bit heavy or you have to like really push in to actually get quite a bit of product. Do you see what I mean about the skin, like the color? I feel like it's pretty good, but it's a little bit too yellow for me. I just, the only thing I really don't like about this is I don't think it like, it doesn't really blend out. Like you have to really go in. So like I just swirled it twice. And now I've got like quite a bit on. So if you want like a full coverage kind of effect, I would recommend like you'd probably have to go in twice. I'm gonna get my neck cause it's a bit yellow. <laughs> It's pretty much all on and I just kind of did a second layer just because I wanted to see how it looks. <clears throat> but I'm not going to talk to you like this because I look freaking scary. So let me put on my concealer, a little bit of blush and then I'll recap everything. I literally only put concealer under my eyes. I didn't put it anywhere else because I just want to show you close up how my skin is looking. First impressions of this, I do personally have um, combination skin. So I have an oily T-zone and then I'm not that dry, but I am drier around the rest of my face. It does come with this little powder press thing. So if you want, I feel like if you would want really thick um, or full coverage, you would use this. I personally just prefer a brush. I feel like it evens out a bit better. I personally love how this applies on. I feel like it really does kind of hide my pores i know you can never really hide them but they, my nose looks freaking awesome as well as here i don't feel like it's oily i don't usually powder my whole face so oh, there's a hair on me oh. so it's pretty good i feel like it is i don't know I'm, i personally love this foundation i just hate how it's almost finished i've only literally used it like maybe five times and it's already hitting pan and I feel like I'm only going to be able to use it a few more times. I don't know if it's the brush I'm using. Comment down below if I if you think I'm using it wrong. If you have a different way of using it. I would be really eager to know. Maybe my head is just a bit big. I don't know. But I, I really like the way it's on. And I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Let me show you the time. It is currently 12.45. So I'm going to leave this on as long as I can. I am also going to do a workout. So let's see if it's workout ready proof wear. And I'll come back and check in. Although I do, I do really like this. I feel like it is a pretty good and affordable foundation. I feel like if you have dry combination skin or oily skin, this would work really well for you. I tried this on my sister as well. I got another shade for her. She has acne prone skin, a bit more oilier, and it actually works really nice. I don't feel like it shines too much. I do like a shiny foundation, but not too much. I feel like it's mainly just shiny around here. That might be from my cream. I do usually, I do usually set around here. So I'm gonna set it do my makeup. I want to keep it very basic and see how we go. Mm. All right, queens. See you soon. Oh, I'm so impressed. 
Okay, so I have my makeup on. It is currently 5.39. So it's been about, what, almost five hours since I've had my makeup on. And this is how it's looking so far. To top everything off, I am going to go and do a workout. Yes, I'm going to train with my makeup. I might as well give it all I got, right? So I personally, so far, just from looking at my makeup, I like this side more. This side, it's not all the powder. Like, I didn't whole powder my face. This side I have. But you tell me what you guys like more. Which side? This side. Or that side. All right, so I'm going to go do my workout. I'm going to, like, kind of lag it more. And then I'll come back and we'll do the final talk about the foundation and how well it's sat and all the fun jazz. Mwah. Bye. Okay, everyone, I am back. It is 7.01. So my makeup has been on for what? About six and a half hours, I would say. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can really see everything. Okay, all right. Let's give you my final critiques. Do not look at my under eyes. I feel like the way I set them and did it was not my favorite today, but that is not the case. Honestly, Firstly, let me know which side do you like better. Do you like this side? Or do you like this side? Comment down below which side do you like better. The right side or the left side. So, the right side is the powdered side all of the face. The left side, I only powdered in my under eyes, a little bit on my nose and my chin. Everything else is je ne sais quoi me. So, looking up close, I personally like both sides. I I know it looks a bit oily this side, but I like it. It's like a natural glow. The powder I used really, really did well. I'm very impressed. You guys, like, maybe around my nose, it's like very slightly, ever so slightly patchy. Like, very, not even like just in my little hoop. Honestly, other than that, I am loving, and like, I have quite deep smile lines and like if you just like rub it I feel like it's pretty good like it's, it's as good as it's gonna get let's be real but I actually love the way this is held I feel like it looks amazing on camera as well as in natural light I was in natural light before and I was doing a video because I wanted to kind of suss it out and it looked amazing so I personally give this foundation out of 10 I would give it an 8 one mainly because of the compact I feel like it, I just wish it was a bit thicker or there was more product and two I just feel like actually ugh, far out I'm gonna have to give it an eight a nine I feel like this foundation is like literally so good and I have an oily oily t-zone you guys like like seriously and I was touching my face I forgot I had makeup on like, come on. So, <laughs> I give this foundation a 9 out of 10. I really like it. I think it is so affordable. I wish it had more product in it. But other than that, looking up close, like, I am, like, literally up close. Like, probably couldn't be any closer. I am really, really liking it. I feel like it wore really well. It looks good on light, like, in this lighting as well as natural lighting. I'm very impressed. And I did a workout, you guys. I am sweaty AF. Jesus. Oh my God, I need to go shower. I just really wanted to come and show you before I went and showered how this all looks. I kind of don't want to take it off. I'm very impressed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing many more, many more reviews. <laughs> May more, but not way more, may more reviews. And I'm also going to be sharing some really exciting things as well as teaching you how to do makeup. And we're just gonna jump into it. I just wanna be myself and I wanna talk like I'm talking to my little lils, my little sisters, my little besties, my friends, my family, everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Literally like how Come on, tell me you don't love it.